Morning chaps, welcome along to the vlog. We're in this morning and it is about time. We got these tanks emptied, so that's what we're gonna do as quick as possible. And then if I've got any more time today, I want to install the water meter on the HLT. But first things first, we've got to fill up the acid tank with parasitic acid so we can rinse the inside of these casks and kegs and sanitize them ready for that yummy beer. We've got quite a few casks of beer out the tanks and while we've been doing that we've also received a pallet of mini kegs so no promises folks but you never know these might end up on the website of some type for Christmas um, and I've also come across here I've taken the plump water off and put it on that trolley for now and we've put this sink in and tidied up this edge swapped and repaired the couple of uh, valves that were missing so I just need to put some expanding foam on there I think that's all I'm going to do with it to tidy it all up uh, more heaters to go in here when I acquire them I'll be taking them out of the tanks when we put the floor heating cable on those so the job that I'm thinking about doing now is perhaps plumbing this sink in because we do have waste here and we do have water here yeah so I've pulled the RBC out and we've got water here and a waste so there's nothing really stopping me just pulling that across and feeding at least one of those taps we don't need any hot water you just really need cold uh, and a waste so that's the waste that we need to employ I think it's doable I think we've got enough pipe I'll go and see if we've got a trap that we can stick on there and then we've got a tap at both ends of the uh, the brewery which will come in really handy hello <laughs> oh god <laughs> you're yawning so we did it we got this is the mains water pipe insulated to there this is the IBC feed which we use so we're not pulling on the mains when we're cooling or cleaning this is the outlet I'm going to keep that there for the pilot kit so we've got uh, cooling <laughs> cooling water for the pilot kit and I had to take the taps off because they were broken but fortunately I have one new tap upstairs just the one but there's no hot water down here anyway so we have cold and we have no leaks so far which is okay that bit of water on the floor came from having to tip this upside down to remove the old taps so the washers were broken in both of these taps and I had to basically bend them with a scaffolding tube to get them off they were that mouldy and oldy but job done so I'm quite pleased with that all we have to do now is pop I'll well, give it a clean first and then we're going to pop our fermenters on here and this is where the pilot kit fermenters will live under temperature control of course this is all working now and uh, now we can move forwards and start to kind of uh, bottle and experiment with that plump porter that is the plan well you wouldn't know it well, that took us all day didn't it that thing yes so there's a the pilot kit back in position the sink and the fermenters hooked up it's much more compact and uh, it's going to be really quite easy to use the coolers are on and they're chilling this beer down to about four and a half degrees to drop the yeast out of suspension and then we should be ready to uh, pop this stuff into a few bottles and do some tasting 
But that's it for today, folks. We're just about ready to finish up with the last of these casks and we're gonna jump into the car and bug of home. And I will get this vlog up for your enjoyment and we'll be back for another one tomorrow when we should be getting stuck into maybe some bottling. I keep saying it every time. I can't guarantee it though. We'll find out tomorrow. We'll see you then. Cheers.